Well, how do there, chums? I'm going to be continuing on with Towers of Agazwa. Now, there was an update, so hopefully we're now on the latest update for Towers of Agazwa, which adds in a few other fidelity bits and bobs. It's like when I was on the beach, I don't think the old man was in a hut. So I think he now has one, that sort of stuff. Okay, chums, so this is going to be sort of my tips video part two in a roundabout way. So I'm just going to be playing ambiently in the background. And if I come across anything interesting, I'd be sure to let you know. Right, so I think back to town and I'm going to look to see if I can make a crafting bench. Now, you may come across Shumshimu that offer you their mask. And you can sort of swap them out. Okay. But you need gold dust to actually purchase it. Now you do come across gold dust every now and again when you're mining rocks and things. So hold on to your gold dust, you might be able to get a new mask. Once you've actually fully built your actual, actual little first building, I've gone through the three tiers, you do get access to a storage box and you can put things into storage that you may not need for a while. It's like I might not need these turds for a bit. So yeah, I'm going to be putting them all in there. And transfer. There we go. But it is quite a laborious task. It'd be nice if it was set to maximum already, wouldn't it? So I'm going to stick all those over there. Might as well. I've already got, already got them in there. So there we go. So after your building is built, talk to Ajit, and he will tell you about how to build a farm. And how to find the bridge. So that's your next sort of steps, anyway. Hmm. When you ask about the farm, it also tell you about the construction table, which you're going to need to build lots of different types of buildings, and also a tent that you can sleep in to turn from night to day. So it does actually give you a quest to build yourself a hut from the actual crafting menu. Now the crafting menu is found from in here and in there. Cool. And there's the actual construction table. And you can see there I need hide. Now you get hide from actually killing creatures. Tree bark, which is underneath me right now, you can probably just mm, sort of see it there. You need to cut down trees. And flint, I'm not too sure how you get at the current stage. Okay, so if you are unsure on how to find things, if you just press R3, which is the hat stand in, it actually gives you clues. Wood, commonly acquired from trees. Flint, commonly acquired from boulders. Hide, commonly acquired from ground creatures. Tree bark, usually acquired from trees. So there we go. I'm going to have to set about cutting down some trees and uh, smashing open some boulders and also killing a couple of creatures. Another little useful tip is when you're inside of the inventory, if you press R3, you can link and put things inside of this little spinny wheel. So there we go. Let's add all those in and get all my basic tools in there makes them a little bit quicker to get hold of but still not brilliant you know cool and then pressing r1 you can bring up this radio and choose which instruments you want so if i want to smash open some boulders to look for flint i need this guy right now i need to find some boulders that i can harvest and they're not the easiest thing to spot because they've got to have like the little green dot above them and they've got to have the ability to harvest them. I mean, I can't harvest that one, but that looks like a rock to me. You know what I mean? So it's a case of searching. And here we go. I found a stone boulder that I can harvest. Not all that easy to spot them in the dark. But well, there we go. I got a common stone. Great. It's going to take me a while to find flint, I guess. There we go. There's another one. Let me be lucky. Hiya! Chicka pow! Oh, I've got gold dust. I only need three gold dust and I can buy that mask. Right. Yeah, I managed to get my first bit of flint. I've moved my camera up a little bit, so at least you can see the sort of stuff that I'm harvesting. Yeah, I'll have to move it around when I'm playing another game. Uh-oh, we've got a big spider. Ow! Get out of here. Right, I was hoping to find more boulders up high, but what I'm finding is larger spider creatures up here. Get bags. Right, here we go. Sweet. I think they might have made the, st the uh, spider creatures a little less aggressive. I don't think they do as much damage now, but I could be wrong. And there's a lot of swapping between weapons, so it's a good thing that I've put them on that radial, but it still is annoying. Okay, now I've gone and taken out some creatures, so I've got the hides. So that's all great as well. Now, when your tools are getting a little bit... <laughs> worse for wear and they're about to break rather than just let them break you can sort of hold down l3 and scrap it and you get some scrap materials back 
and then it might make it a little bit easier to craft another one in future but right now i need to craft myself another axe because that one's done there we go so there we are i'll create another one of them one of those sweet okay okay now i've got all the resources i need to make my crafting bench so yeah we're gonna craft one of those and uh, now I can put it down. So where is it? There it is. And uh, yeah, use. I want to find myself a nice place for this. I'm thinking put it nearish to my little storage box. So there's a storage box there. So I'm thinking put it around here by this elder. Now I wouldn't mind rotating it. So I'm going to rotate it round like so. And hopefully get it in against this wall. That would be quite nice if I could get it there. It's not going to go there, is it? All right, fine. All right, fine. I'll find a decent place to put my crafting table. And I managed to get it where I wanted. I just had to rotate it a little bit more. But there we go. And we can interact with this. And there's all this that we can now craft. Look, that's opened up a whole new world of crafting. Thank you, I said house. There's a couple of things that I can already make already. A Midhaven hut. Cool. Which I think is the thing that I've been asked to make anyway, isn't it? Make a hut. I just need to double check my quest log. Checking the log is probably a good thing to do. It just says make a hut. So I'm just going to have a look to see if there's something listed as hut. But if not, I'd go for that one that I could actually build. Okay, so what I've found is there's quite a lot under huts. There's cosy farming hut. There's a standard farming hut. There's a modest mining hut. That's the one I can make. But a lot of these are just marked as huts. So I think, I think it's any. So I'm going to go for that one that I can make. There we go. Chicka boom. What else is inside of here? Anything lovely? There's all sorts of loveliness in there. Okay, right. And um, let's just go put down that hut then. Got a whole building inside of my pocket, apparently. Do I have to put it in the confines of my area, or can I stick it down here somewhere? That'd be nice if I could put it in there. Oh, it keeps flashing blue every now and again, doesn't it? There we go. I could put it on the outside. Could do. Uh, let's put it there. Sweet! I just made that. I wonder if that has now completed the mission for me. Hmm. Very nice. Um, where's the front door on this thing? You can't go in any of these buildings, can you? No, you just climb all over them. Like a numpty. Oh, and then I can remove it if I want to. Oh, okay. That's pretty darn nice. I wouldn't mind rotating it the other way, to be honest. I, I didn't realise that I was putting it there. So, okay. All right, that's cool. There's no, there, there's no sort of like infraction or anything for doing that. That's cool. All right, there we are. Let's let's see if we can rotate it round the other way where I want it. I want the door to face out this way, if possible. And yeah, we'll stick it there. That looks a lot more in keeping. And then we've got a little path going down here. I like the fact that there's some old walls here that kind of can join onto it and stuff. It's actually looking really quite like it's part of the landscape. I like that. And I guess that means now we get like extra residents and things. And maybe the prestige of our place goes up or something. Very cool. And then I've just checked my journal. And that mission is now disappeared So there we go. Pretty darn sweet. So I was right, people. Building things like that increases the culture of the place. Pretty darn nice. Yeah, pretty awesome, in fact. Okay, after you've spoken to Ajit and a few of the other people, after you've made your crafting bench, after you've put down your hut, you also get to put down a farm. Pretty darn awesome. It looks like they need a lot of resources to get it finished. Uh, I can turn in the common seeds, which is great. I need resin, I need all sorts for this one. But you know how to get most of these resources now, right? So the only thing that I don't know how to get on there is rope. But I'm fairly sure I've seen rope inside my crafting menu. There it is right there. So I can make a couple of those. I didn't actually read how many I needed. Okay, there we go. Done. That's the rope handed in. I just need wood and resin. So there we go, I'm going to cut down some trees over by my big tree that I planted. Now as you can see, I haven't got many big trees left, have I? So I'm going to cut down this one. 
And then I'm going to climb up the big tree that I planted and get some more seeds and make sure I replenish this area. There we go, got some wood, got some resin. I'm going to climb up here, get some more seeds, plant them out and hopefully restore this land. Now at the top of the tree you are going to find another seed for sort of expanding the area. Whoa, I fell. This is what the little seeds look like, so I've picked up three of those so far. It's a case of just sort of going around. There's another one that I missed. There you go. Look, there we go. Got that guy. You've got to be careful of your stamina. But there we are. I've got a fair few of those. And I'll be planting those out now. And I've got these seeds on this quick menu. You can put seeds on there as well as tools, just as a heads up. Yeah, now, if you can't plant any more seeds and you've got to the sort of like the edge of your boundaries, that big seed that you've got, one of these guys, use it and expand your boundary. There we go. Okay, I might have to go back into the edge of my, my uh, ecosystem. But yeah, there we go. And hopefully that's going to expand now. I'm planting another giant tree here. Here we go. And I'm planting towards my town. And then I haven't got as far to go for resources. Once you've got another big seed in, then you can start planting more of the smaller seeds. And so if it says maximum reached, get a big seed. Expand your area, and away you go. Now a good tip, because a lot of this is time gated, you've got to be waiting like 20 minutes real time. And for that big tree to grow, look, I've got another 13 minutes on that. Just going near to them and scanning them gives you a rough idea of time. It's always best to try and do all of your sort of tree stuff first do all your nature stuff first that's going to be time gated then focus on doing up your town and other things because you've got to wait for this time to go you know so yeah i've kind of done today round the wrong way but that's a good tip for you guys and the viewerverse now something else i find if you kill creatures like this one they're quite lovely but if you kill the creatures like this one you see that ratty one over there it doesn't affect affect your amity killing these ones those ones are a, a, a fair game for anyone to kill and that's a good way to get your hide the only thing is they're a lot freaking faster they tend to ignore food and they take a heck of a lot more killing and you gotta chase them down sometimes though they sort of bug out and stop moving like now and you can get a fair few good hits in oh he slid away see that one more whack pow there we go then like a little bag falls out of them, then you pick that up and hopefully you're going to get some hide. Yeah, I got some hide there. Lovely. So for me, that's what I'm going to be doing now is just spending the rest of my time just resource gathering. OK, so, yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing. When it comes to feeding creatures, I mean, you, you can throw them towards the creature. Sometimes they freaking ignore them, but you, you're best just to throw them around. And then after a little while, anyway, you're going to get the amity just by walking around harvesting stuff as and when the creatures start eating. So it's that simple. Now, sometimes creatures don't just drop dung. Sometimes they can drop their other commodities. So, yeah, and sometimes it can be really hard to spot them as well. There you go. Look, I've got a strange seed from that one, which is pretty darn cool. Once I've built my farm, maybe that might be plantable. Let's see what this one drops. So always, if you have got a load of berries, make sure you throw them down. You might get something cool. There you go. Look, I've got some fur from that one as well. Pretty nice. My inventory is full now. I'm just going to go over here and keep pressing square, see if he dropped anything else. But no, I don't think he did. Sadly, it doesn't put these little green dots above the things that they drop. It'd be nice if they did. Or whether there was some sort of sparkling element above them so you could see all the drops. That way you could just throw a load of berries down, go away, come back and see it all sparkling. I think they need to make it a bit easier to spot things dropped from creatures. Now it's night time right now. If you create one of these, this little tent. So if I go back into here, pick up my little tent. Where are you, little tents? Okay, that's gone. Right. Reason I couldn't create the tent is my inventory is full. So let's go see if I can turn anything else in over here. Right, I don't have enough resin and I don't have enough wood, so I didn't cut down enough trees and I've got to wait for my trees to grow. It's a little bit of a shame that you know, you've got to look into 
what you're picking up and how much you're picking up at this stage. You know what? I'm just going to use this. I'd eat that. Now I've got enough room. So here we go. I can craft that. Now I should have it inside my inventory where that clam was. There we go. And I can use it. And I'm going to place this inside of this little area up here. In fact, I might just put it on the outside. I might just put it there. Um, no, because later on you can actually build yourself a little campfire and you can make yourself some, some food items. So you know what? I'm going to put it up here somewhere. I'll put it over by age it. Good for going out on missions and things, you know? Or near to the actual board, because we're going to get missions here at some stage. So I'm going to put it here so I can get fully rested before going on a mission. Hopefully that's facing the right way. Yeah, I think it is. There we go. It's hard to tell. Rest till morning. And that just cuts out the night time period. Sadly, it doesn't speed up the time for you, you growing of your stuff. It doesn't work like that. I think my entrance is over there, but you know what? That's okay. That's fine. I can come out of here and hit up this notice board once there's things on it. If you do come across injured creatures and you do have all the commodities you need to help them, help them, and uh, you usually get rewarded for doing so. So there we go. Lost that. But there we go. I've got some more Amity points. But Amity points are great. You get quite a lot of them. So here we go. Ooh, okay. There we are. Nice. Loads of Amity points for doing that. And going up to 210 now. So just look out for the broken bone logos above creatures. All is good. You can see there, it says I've only planted three of the colossal seeds or whatever, the temperate plant seeds. I've fed a fair few more creatures now, but I still need to feed a few more. So I should get those done, really. Scanning creatures, it also tells you the things that they like to eat. So, you know, it likes to eat lettuce. Now, we won't be able to do lettuce until uh, we get our farm done. So... Yeah, there is that. Yeah, now you can actually deposit Amity. So, here we go. Let's see if we can make these grow a little quicker. And look, there we go. We got ourselves a purple rose thing. What the fudge up? Okay. Well, this is all new to me, so I'm learning as I go. Hopefully you guys are too, but there we go. I've grown out this thing now. Pretty darn lovely. Now, I did plant a load of seeds near this, and I'm waiting for those to grow as well, but I don't think I can boost those all too much. But yeah, it's going to grow again in another 29 minutes. I don't think there's much else I can do with putting more Amity in. But I've planted loads of these seeds around here for these trees to grow, and I'm not seeing much growth for trees. And I've got to plant out 14 of those special trees for this zone. There you go, look, not really seeing much. Resin pool. Oh, okay, interesting. Not too sure how you harvest a resin pool. Um, it's not telling me to use anything. I'm just going to make an educated guess that it's this. Okay. I was wondering whether I might need a bucket or something, but apparently this has done it. There we go. Brilliant. I got loads of resin from that. I might have enough to actually build out my farm now. Let's see, shall we? Well, we've got enough resin. And I think we've got enough wood as well. So here we go. Converting stations of buildings. Okay, brilliant. So we can make little converting stations as well. Excellent. So there we go. We've got loads of raised beds here as well. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. I can put in lettuce, I guess. Oh, look, we've got lettuce growing. Brilliant, eh? Right, so I grew lettuce and all three of the raised beds here. So hopefully that solved the food problem. Now, ah, maybe we've completed that mission too. Well, I can see that we've got like a little orange marker above Amit's head or Ajit's head. So let's go and speak to Ajit. Hello there, Ajit. I think we've got done. Oh, no, this is a parfum, isn't it? Here's Agent right here. Oh, no, that's Colkin. Let's just talk to Colkin then. Sweet. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I just made you a load of stuff. <laughs> oh, next step, we need storage bins. Fair enough. Okay, so one of the things that I need is a compost shed. So I guess we're going to build that. And I think the logical place to put this would be near to the farm, wouldn't it? You know? 
So let's see if we can put it near the farm. Anyway, I'll leave it with me. I'll be a second. Well, oh, it's vanished. Hooray and hurrah! I've built a storage shed! Or a compost thing. Oh, great. So although I've built it, you still need to plough a load of resources into it. All right, well, there we go. I've got everything I need for that. Brilliant day! Yeah, round of applause for me. So I'm imagining now I've got my compost. If I put dung in there, I should be able to get myself some fertiliser to help things grow quicker. Freaking awesome. Yes, please. I would like two of those. Nice one. So now we've got fertiliser. Oh, that's going to take nine minutes to make the fertiliser. You're having a laugh, mate. OK, now this chap wants me to bring him some lettuce, which we've got growing. I think he's only got 10 seconds left, so I'll go over and grab that in a moment. Yeah, look, there is over there. I can see it's got 14 seconds on some of it. And I think some is actually ready. So let's leg on over there. Let's see. If... Oh, no, there's a spider in my base. How does that even happen? Get out, spider. No one likes spiders. Go on. Be off with you. OK, he's gone. There we go. Let's grab those then. And we've got one second left on this one. Great. OK, well, I might as well get some more growing in there. There we go. It's probably better than, you know, having common seeds because you only get to plant a certain amount of stuff out, isn't it? So there we go. Let's go and give that to this guy up here and let's go see what he says now. Hello, chap. Ah, there we go. Awesome. Now this guy's going to teach you how to make a campfire. Sweet. There we go. We can now make campfires. Brilliant. Eh? And you know what? Because I might need to eat before I go on missions and I might need to sleep before I go on missions, I'm going to be building my campfire right there. So there we go. Lovely jubbly. Was it in here? Yes, it is. And I'm going to stick it, I think, as close as I can to my tent. There we go, that'll do. chicka -boo! And I can use this to now cook meat. I have got quite a lot of meat on me, so... I haven't got no salt, though. So it's not going to taste all that nice. No, oh, well, I thought I had meat on me. I've got, I've got some meat on me. I can make some sausage if I had salt. Don't know where to get salt from at this stage. So if I press the R stick in, it's usually found in coastal and underwater regions. Nice. Well, a lot of these seeds I've planted, these temporal seeds, which are here, they seem to have turned into mushrooms rather than actual trees. Or even resin pools, which is a little odd. I mean, I need to grow so many temporal seeds, according to this little chap over here, to complete a mission. And it keeps saying only four of ten. I can't get it to go up any higher. So I'm a little bit stuck on that one. And I've planted loads of them, but I'm just not getting anything grow from them that seems to be satisfying this little chap. There you go, I've just picked up two more there. Let's go to the top. There you go, I've got three more. And I bet you it won't let me plant them here. Look. Ecosystem can't sustain any more plants. Well, I'm not seeing anything that's grown from these in and around this area. So I'm really not sure how to progress that mission unless it's bugged out. Oh, new creature. Hello. It looks like a chameleon type kangaroo. Oh, that's so cool. What is it? It likes fish meat and fresh eggs. Interesting little creature. Cool. All right. Well, things are happening. So, because I can't plant them near him, I've been planting them over here. And I've got loads planted here. And the amount doesn't seem to go up. It just went blue then for a second. It's so finicky. And the message is just... Oh, it's, it's a little bit frustrating. I'm wondering whether I can build them over here. I'm just not finding the right spot or something, you know? 
because I've just planted those. Now, if I go and speak to this guy, I've just planted two more, right? You think it would go up? Still four of ten. So if you guys know how to get that to move on, let me know in the comments, because that's got me seriously stuck at the moment. Okay, so just going round by the tree, I know that I planted stuff near here, and I'm just looking for things that I can harvest. I just found a fibrous bulb, which now I think that I've actually harvested that. It might let me plant another one. Yes. So that's what I need to do. There we go. I've got that in. Let's see if that goes up a level. Let's see if that's um, helped. Let's see if he now says five or if he says four again. It's gone up to five. Right. That's what I need to do. So I need to find the things that I planted here, which, trust me, isn't easy amongst all this foliage. There's a bush here. Is that gonna is that gonna count for one? I don't think so. Alright. Okay, so things that I've planted could be in and around here somewhere. And it's just a case of finding them. Oh, this is this is tragic. They need to have a different marker on them or something. Like yellow or something, or gold, I don't know. Aloe leaf, here we go. Okay, maybe that's all I need to do. Ah, I found a big crop. So we've got these weird mushroom things appearing now as well. So they weren't here before. Dang it. Inventory is full. Story of my life. Okay, right. What can I ditch or eat? I can eat that, I suppose. Let's use that then. Let's eat another one. There we go. Lovely. All right, now I could see another one here. So I wonder if I dig those up. Whether I can then plant another two seeds. And the answer is yes, yes I can. Okay, right. Knowing that it doesn't always grow big trees that are freaking obvious is interesting. Alright, plant those there then. And I've got to look for anything else that's out of the ordinary. Alright, that I can do. Yeah, I'm on 7 of 10. I'm really struggling to find any more. Maybe I have to wait for them to grow, pick them up, and then plant more, and maybe that just ups the quota. It's not that intuitive, though. Okay, jobs when transferring, if you press X and then press square, it goes to the maximum, then just press X again. It's, it's a lot quicker than dragging and dropping. Okay, cool. Okay, so it looks like we've got a new tree grown. A pasty tree, apparently. Let's just cut it down. There we go. And let's see if I can now plant another one of these. I can. Brilliant. And let's see if that goes up a notch. Let's see if it's gone up to eight now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Not enough. Let's go over here and speak to this little guy. Are we on eight? Huh. We are on eight. I think I've worked it out then, people. My compost is ready, so I should be able to take that. Okay, we've got some new compost. Lovely. So if I run that over and put it on those seeds that I planted, hopefully we get the other two done. Okay, so here they are. They've got eight minutes remaining. So if I go into here and get my fertilizer and equip. Okay, use then. And I guess just put it around here. Aha! So it does actually, it's probably better to use it in an area and make sure you plant everything in an area. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Right, here we go. Let's get my spade then. Let's harvest these. And hopefully I can plant some more seeds. Out of the way, mate. I'm harvesting this. Nice. And harvest that, and then I can plant two more seeds. Oh no, my shovel broke. All right, let's make another shovel then. That was in the craft menu, of course it is. Sweet. Lovely. Oh, it's gone to night time. Right, okay. Got those. Now let's put in these, these little guys. I think this little patch over here near this rock... This probably makes a bit of sense for me, so I'll stick that there. And I'll stick that one there. Now that should count as the 10, which means then I've done Tree Grove 2 and Town Build 2. 
in a roundabout way. Or at least that's how I'm making sense of it anyway. Look at that. All these creatures are falling in love with me. Nice. Right, there we go. Let's talk to this chap then. I think I've done it, mate. Yes, we've done it. We've done everything. So, what do you got to say about that? Yes, I have. Yes, I have indeed. Brilliant. Oh. Oh, great. Fine. I don't know how to get Raro root at the moment, but there we go. I can turn in the Amity. Right, okay. Well, I guess that's part three then that I'm going to have to be doing. Something to note is this tree over here is very close to growth, and I think I might be able to move it on. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let's uh, deposit that Amity. Right. And then this should grow then. I guess do you pluck this branch again or something. I'm not too sure, but I've done it. Okay, chums. I'm going to try something. So I'm going to use these. So there we go. Let's um, use these. And we're going to plant these in this little circle here. So I'll put the one there. I'm just going to try using all of my... There you go. All of my fertilizer to see if i can fast grow a load of seeds and see what we get so i'm wondering whether this might give us some new resources so i planted three of them and then let's see what other seed i've got come out of there let's use this one strange seed let's put that one over here right so we've got a lot of seeds in the ground there is there any other seeds that i can use yeah, we've got one of these. Let's put a little temperate seed there as well, then. About there. Now, what I'm going to do is put the fertiliser bang in the middle of all of this. I think I've got one. Well, I've got two fertilisers left to so use. And we want to try and make it so it encompasses all of them. It's a shame there's not like a, a, like a, a top view down or something. There we go. And look, hopefully it's going to make all of these grow at the same time. Heck yeah. Brilliant. Okay. All right, well, it didn't affect that one too much, did it? But we've got this one, Brave Shroom. That's done. And that's done. Sweet. Yeah, it made them all grow really quickly, really rapidly. Sadly, it didn't give me anything new. But that is a good way of getting Amity level up, isn't it? Brilliant. Well, I think I need 100 Amity to put into this to make it grow again. Let's have a look. Let's climb up it. It comes up when you get near to the top. Here you go. And then hold. Let's put 100 Amity into there. Let's see if we can get it to grow again. There we go. Heck yes. Well, that's brilliant, that. And I think now when I grow things near this, maybe I might get other stuff. Maybe it might encourage bigger creatures to come here. I'm freaking loving this. But there we go, people. I think we're about good. I think we're about done. And I think we need to move on our other missions now. So the, the other mission is to go and find the hunter. So I'll probably be going to find the hunter in my next episode. Hopefully this has helped you out in growing your town. And you've learned something from this. Mainly of me running around being a bit of a numpty. But I'm, I'm fairly sure I could pick this before. Unusual. All right, well, I don't, I don't know what that red flower is all about. Okay, well, there we go, people. Next episode, I will be moving on with my journals. Let's have a look at the old journal. So I'm going to be finding Hoa, the hunting expert, I think. I've also got to build a storage box and help resolve the food shortage. I thought I already did that. Hmm. A bit unusual. But there we go, people. That's this episode done.